Hey guys, welcome back to Helper Function. In this video, we will discuss another popular interview question, valid perfect square. So the problem statement says that, so we are given with a number n and we need to determine that if n is a perfect square or not. Note that it is also given that we cannot use built-in functions like square root. So for example, if n is 16, which can be represented as 4 square, we will return true. But for n is equals to 14, which is not a perfect square, we will return false. So let's see how we will solve this. Let's try and find out the square root of n. So one thing we can do that we can run a loop starting from i is equals to 1. And every time we will check that whether i is a candidate for a square root of n or not. So first we find i square and then if this i square is equals to n, we will return true because we got that n is a perfect square with the square root as i. Otherwise, if i square is lesser than n, we will keep on traversing. And if i square is greater than n, we will return false here because n is not a perfect square. If it was a perfect square, then we would have got our answer till now. Let's try and understand with example, let's say n is 16. So first, we check that 1 square is greater than 16 or not. So because 1 square is smaller than 16, we come to 2. Because 2 square is also smaller than 16, we come to 3. Because 3 square is also smaller than 16, we come to 4. Now because 4 square is equals to 16, which means that 4 is the square root of 16, thus making 16 a perfect square and we will return true. Let's try another example where my n is 14. So at first, 1 square is lesser than 14, so we move to 2. 2 square is also lesser than 14, so we move to 3. 3 square is also less than 14, so we move to 4. But here 4 square is greater than 14, which means that we have surpassed 14 and we have not got any square root of n. Thus. 14 is not a perfect square and we will return false. Thus, if you see that this loop will work only square root of n time. Because till square root of n, either we will get true or we will get false. Thus, making its time complexity order of square root of n. But we have another approach to solve this problem in better time complexity. So let's see how to solve that. Because we need to find the square root of n, we know that answer will lie between 1 to n and thus we can use binary search in order to get the square root of n. Let's say my left is 1 and right is n. Thus my binary search condition will work till left is lesser than equals to right. Now every time we will be getting mid which will be nothing but the middle of left and right. Now we will check that if this mid is a candidate for perfect square root of n that is if mid square is equals to n we will return true here. Otherwise if my mid square is greater than n which means that my answer will lie below mid and thus my right will become mid minus 1. Else my answer will lie above mid and my left will become mid plus 1. So by this condition if n is a perfect square then we will definitely get this condition and we will return true. Otherwise we will come out of this loop and we will return false. Thus this problem approach works in order of log n complexity. Now let's try and understand by example. Let's say n is 16. So for the first time, my left will be 1, right will be 16 and mid will be 8. Now because mid square that is 64 is greater than 16, my right will be mid minus 1 that is 7, left will be 1 and this time mid will be 4. Now because this time mid square is 16 and n is also 16, we will return true. 
Let's try with another example when n is 14. My left will be 1, right will be 14 and for the first time mid will be 7. Now because 7 square is 49 which is greater than 14, my right will become mid minus 1 that is right will become 6, left will be 1 and this time my mid will be 3. Now because 3 square that is 9 is lesser than 14, left will become mid plus 1 that is left will become 4, right will be same and this time my mid will be 5. Now because 5 square 25 is greater than 14, right will become mid minus 1 that is right will become 4, left is also 4 and this time mid will also be 4. Now because 16 that is 4 square 16 is greater than 14, right will become mid minus 1 which will make right as 3 left will be 4 and this time because left is greater than right the loop will terminate and finally we will return false. Thus we were able to solve this problem in order of log n complexity. Now let's quickly look at the code. We are given with the num integer we initialize two long long int left and right. Note that we are taking long long int to prevent from overflows. Now this while loop will work till left is lesser than equals to right. So every time we are first finding mid which is left plus right by 2 and then we are checking for these three conditions. If mid squared is equals to num which means that num is a perfect square and we will return true. Otherwise if mid square is greater than num then the square root of num is lesser than mid and thus my right will be mid minus 1. And else left will be mid plus 1 which says that the square root of num is greater than mid. Now if n is not a perfect square, this loop will terminate and finally we will return false. So this was all about the problem. I put the problem link in the description so you can go and solve it. If any doubts or suggestion, please write in the comment. And if not subscribed to the channel yet, then please do that. Thank you so much for watching.